are there any based ways to handle binaries that may need a SUID perm but prevent being executed maliciously? There's a lot going on with this question. Um, I will answer, first I'll break down what's happening in the question and then I will answer both the letter of the question and then the spirit of the question, what I believe the user is actually getting at. Um, so any base ways of handling binaries that may need the SUID permission but prevent being executed maliciously, this user saying, hey, I have this binary or this program and it needs certain permissions that will allow it to escalate its privileges effectively. How can I handle this in a way where like it can't do anything bad? Uh, the short answer to the, do this uh, to, or the short answer to this is like, n no, um, but let's break down what's going on here. So SUID, SUID, um, this is short for like set UID. This would be like on a Unix permission. So like on a Linux file system, you would see this or other Unix like operating systems. This is, e this is a bit you can set just like you can give something executable, read or write permissions. SUID or set UID is a special thing you can set on a file. <clears throat> and what this will do is if it's an executable file, when you execute it, instead of executing as the permissions of the user running, it will execute with the permissions of the user that the binary is owned by. So what do I mean by this? I'm user Dave on a system. There's user Bob over there. Bob has a program that he wrote. It's in his home directory. It's owned by user Bob. If he executes it, it'll run as Bob. If I execute it, it'll run as Dave. That's why on your system, like LS would be a program. It's owned by root. But when you, Dave, Bob, anybody runs LS, it doesn't get run as root. It gets run as their user, respectively, Dave, Bob, whatever. Um, but there are certain programs that when you run them, they actually do escalate their privileges. They become the owner of the file, and that owner might be root. An example of this would be, there's all sorts of different examples. Um, I think ping was like this for a while. On Linux, I don't think that's the case anymore. I think there are set capabilities, which is like a Linux thing that the kernel has. Um, but I know, you know, before 10, 15 years ago, ping was a set UID binary. You needed to have root access to craft your own ICMP packet because it's not typical TCP or UDP. Um, sudo. Uh, do as all these programs that are built to escalate your privileges, they're going to be set UID and they're going to be owned to root. Um, so how would I ensure that they're not being executed maliciously? I mean, you can't really, you just need to make sure that your program, like if you're the author of this, you need to be as defensive as possible. So sudo has a configuration file and has very strict rules on who's allowed to execute it. Pseudo starts and it's going to run with the escalated privileges, but it determines based on these like config files, if it should be allowed to do what the user is asking. Go look up vulnerabilities for like sudo. There's a whole bunch of CVEs. People are constantly trying to break these things. So like, how can we handle them? How can we make sure they're not executed maliciously? Y you can't. I mean, this is the cat and mouse game of security. So I don't have any tricks here. Just be really careful if you need to set UID a binary.